that many features, but each feature is really expensive to develop and push out. It takes a lot of engineers, a lot of time, a lot of trial and error. Um, and it seems so obvious that you should have it. I think it's a matter of cost. I give you an example of, of temporary downloads. Up until, what, two years ago or so, Netflix didn't have that? We didn't less, have that Amazon? Less than two years. Less than two years. What a frustrating thing for a lot of us. Maybe life, we're, we're charmed that we could be on planes a lot wanting to watch Netflix, but how else are you going to watch it? And, um, but I think the drivers are economics, because I don't think Netflix started doing that because they wanted Jeff Bezos to be able to watch when he's on his private plane or what happened the Amazon. Sorry about that. Um, I think it was because outside the United States, particularly for hundreds of millions of people in developing countries, data is way too expensive. So what people have been doing are going to malls and places like that and just watching, sitting down and watching their show in a free Wi-Fi zone. So it became much easier, and it was way, a way of getting more people to subscribe to Netflix, giving those people the ability to download five movies, go home and watch them. And so I think that's kind of what drove Netflix to do that. It wasn't probably even from anyone in this country. Well, we are out of time. And uh, thank you all for attending, and please join me in thanking our panelists.